this is where everyone should start. Like I said in one of my most popular videos, how to juggle a soccer ball five to 500. I said, if you cannot get to 500 or at least to 100, get somewhere where you feel like I don't really have to drop the ball and I'm just tired of counting. But everyone, in my opinion, young player, your first goal, once you really figure out how to juggle a soccer ball, get to 500. After that, you don't have to count anymore. You can do fancier skills, focus on different touches. But let's come back to juggling. So, nice relaxed upper body. I'm light on my toes if I have to react. The ball is about under, under knee height. Look at the backspin on the ball. Backspin on the ball. It's not going away from me. It's not going left, right. It's staying right in front of me. Left, right, left, right, nice rhythm. That's the goal, that's the objective. But if you're not there yet, what you need to start with is just getting good backspin on the ball. Okay, so maybe this is where you start. If you're at this level right now, that's totally fine, but you need to improve. Kick, catch, kick, catch, especially on your weaker foot. And as I always say, I don't like the word, I don't like the term, the phrase weak foot. You have two strong feet. One just needs a little more practice. Okay, so especially on your weaker foot, let's fix it right now. It's probably too weak as the phrase goes, but you're not flexing it strong enough. You're not making your foot hard enough. If you're practicing on your weak foot and it keeps dying into the ground, or the contact just doesn't feel the same. On here, it's nice and sharp, it's nice and firm. Here, it feels like it's dying into the ground every time. Tighten that up, tighten that technique up. Flex your foot a little stronger. If anything, it's better for you to have a touch that's way too heavy than a touch that isn't heavy enough. So start there, but start with the kick and catch. Backspin on the ball. If you can do about 10 of those with one touch, just go two touch two touch okay then you go right left because I want you to get you into that rhythm of right left right left right left but very basic that is where I would start okay next if you're a little more advanced go into the single leg stuff or the more advanced techniques so I just call these mini touches but on both feet good for your balance as well which is nice delicate touch that one will help Single foot, but a little higher. Putting the foot down every time, getting a nice backspin on both feet. Yes, you can do the thighs. Head. Okay, practicing that, have a better touch than that. But one thing I really like to promote is this directional juggling. So maybe you just start with walking. Because in the match, you're never juggling on the spot. You don't get the ball in the corner of the field and do this. But you might take some touches where you have to move the ball. You have to manipulate it in different ways. So I would start walking and then you can add a bit of pace to it. Running with the ball. Directional ball control. The next ball control exercise that I would encourage you to do is a foot stall. I think this is a beautiful exercise for training your weak foot. Because the problem with your weak foot, or your foot that's not good enough yet, is usually you don't have the strength, you don't know how to flex it properly. So practicing stalls, especially on your weak foot, get it in there, really flex it, turn the toes up, Squeeze it in there so that ball doesn't leave. That's gonna train your foot really well, but that's a good technique and it's another good uh, ball control drill that I like to do. Then I would move into air control. So maybe it's just popping the ball in the air, bringing it down with the toe. And again, if you're a beginner, it's okay to start with your hands, but I would challenge you to always use your feet whenever possible, even if you're struggling in the beginning. Okay, so you can do with the toe, inside of the foot, getting your body over the ball. So it's the timing, right as that ball hits the ground, boom, then you're on top of it. It's not bounce, and then try to get down on it. Read the ball, anticipate the bounce, get over it, 
touch and my body controls on top of it. Outside the foot. We always practice with both feet, don't we? But outside the foot. You could do Croy. The next ball control exercise would be an air control. Up out of the air, keep it alive with different techniques. So you can do with laces, inside. Let me tighten up, let me tighten up that left. Inside, go with that. All right, outside the foot, lovely. And obviously, you don't just have to use feet. You need to be able to control the ball with all parts of the body. One of the best tools you can use to improve your ball control is a wall. So start with open touch. Whenever you're comfortable, play a pass against the wall, receive, and go again. When that gets easy, play two touch. So one to control, one to pass. Control, pass. Be on your toes, so if you have a bad touch or a soft touch, you can get there quickly. Finally, you can play one touch, which is gonna help you with your ball control, but also your passing, also your ball striking. So focus on being light on your toes, but making good contact. Practicing just as inside of the foot is a great place to start. And then you can go different techniques 